What's up, Charging Wildcats? Today is Tuesday, March 3rd, which means it's National Anthem Day and National Cold Cuts Day. I'm Sierra Jackson. And I'm Isabel Thomas. And today is also I Want You To Be Happy Day. So let's hope this news makes someone happy. So let's fly into today's announcements. Yesterday, we've started choosing some of our classes for next year. So you'll be hearing a lot of announcements regarding electives today. For example, East applications are due ASAP. Forms can be picked up from Mr. Winsnap in room C-128. And for those interested, East takes high school students and COE students. There are still a few slots open for next year's Photo 1 class. Mr. Douglas will accept applicants for this class through the end of the week. Go by his room, BL26, in the bottom of B Tower to pick up any application. Applica applications can be picked up or dropped off at any time. Be sure and ask your teacher for permission before you leave class to pick up or turn in any application. If you have any questions, email douglash at nlrsd.org. Do you love writing or do you see yourself as a photographer? Are you interested in being a voice for our school and reporting on the stories that matter most to you? Then join newspaper next year. You can pick up an application with Ms. Nicholson in room D209. Please turn it in completed by March 18th. The first annual Miss in Blue Gold pageant is right around the corner. It will be held in our auditorium on March 12th beginning at 6.30 p.m. For the next couple of shows, we are going to start showcasing the nine candidates. So here's the first one. Um, because it's my senior year and I just feel like this would be a great opportunity for me before I graduate, just to leave some, you know, history, mm -hmm. this new pageant. Um, I'm excited because uh, I get to dance and dress up in front of my family and friends. Mm -hmm. My talent is dancing. I'm going to do a, a small little hip hop slash jazz performance. Mm -hmm. I'm TK Warren and I'm contestant number nine for the Miss Golden Blue pageant. Legacy 2020 yearbooks are now on sale in room C142. Books are $60 and you can add your name to the front of the book for an extra $5. A deposit of $20 is required. Don't miss out on the year of great memories. Renaissance Leadership will be hosting the Students vs. Basketball game in the arena on March 20th. Last year, the teachers demolished the students, but can the students redeem themselves in 2020? Join us this morning of March 20th to find out. Admission will be $2 for a ticket, and the tickets will go on sale March 13th. The next Spanish club meeting will be this Thursday after school in room B234. Everyone is invited whether or not you're taking a Spanish class. Be bring a friend and come join the fun. And here's our second candidate for Miss Blue and Gold. No, I've actually done a pageant about every year for the past four years. I've done the Miss Sylvan Hills pageant, and I won Miss Petite Sylvan Hills. I've done a pageant last year in January, and I won that. I won level one grand, so that was really cool. I'm excited about the pageant because um, I'm a freshman this year, and I know that some of the new eighth graders will be excited to see that somebody that their age can come and win a pageant. My name is Amaya Kendall. I'm contestant number one in the Miss Blue and Gold pageant. Once again, we want to remind you that Student Council is hosting their first ever color run. The entry fee will be $25 for an individual or $20 per person with a group of four. It will be held on March 17th from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Rogers at rogersc at nlrsd.org for more information. Moving on to sports, congratulations to our chess team who just won their first region of the year. Luke Bjork was named MVP of the tournament after posting a perfect score of 5-0. to zero. Our swim team competed in the state tournament this past weekend, and we want to congratulate everyone who made it. Here's the list of all our student athletes that made it. Riley Bowles, 
Hudson Cameron and Jake Hill, Betsy Ponner, Peyton Price, Pearson Richard, Shelby Stanley, and Philip Stanley. Annabeth Stuff, Tristan Taylor, Luke Wilkins, and Michelle Potts. Congratulations all. And here's our third and final candidate for today's Miss Blue and Gold. I am excited for the pageant because I feel as if it would help me with confidence. It would help me with real life situations that I'll have to go through in the future. And this is my first pageant, so I'm excited to see how it will go out. And I'm just overall excited about the vibes and how it will go. Well, I wanted to go for a different look. I wanted to kind of bring out like my heritage, so I'm doing like an African style dress. I didn't want to do such a, <laughs> I didn't want to do such like a ball gown dress like prom wise. I want to be different and I want people to know like, wow, she's representing something that she is. And so that's Very basically. Cool. I'm Alyssa Joseph and I'm contestant number two in the Miss Blue and Gold pageant. And finally, the basketball state championships begin this week in Bryant, Wednesday. The girls face Rogers Heritage at 1 p.m. and the boys will have their first game on Friday at 5.30. And if you can't make it, the games will be broadcast via our athletics website and via our app. And that's all the news we have for you today, Wildcats. Remember that if you have any announcements or comments, you can contact us via email at nlrtv at nlrsd.org. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at nlrtv4, on Instagram at nlrtv underscore nlrhs, on, and on our Facebook page at nofloroctv, and please subscribe to our nlrtv YouTube channel.